Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Sasha and I am a cash budgeter. What that means for me is I pay all my bills online and I take out the difference from my paycheck and I cash stuff it into my variable expense envelopes as well as my sinking fund envelopes. And then I also have some saving challenges, which I'm doing right now. So this week I kind of skipped filming, making my paycheck budget. And that's just because I'm super limited on time. I've been getting a crazy amount of Etsy orders, which is absolutely amazing. I'm totally blown away by that. Um, and so I just don't have much free time right now. So I thought I would do a quick video, just showing a little bit of my budget and then we will cash stuff my variable expense binder, as well as my savings binder. And then I'm going to be doing my um, savings challenges I'll be sharing on my TikTok account. So let's start off by doing my expense binder. All right, so first up we have groceries. I will just mention I live on my own, um, so I, I'm just budgeting for myself. I'm budgeting $130 for groceries, and that should cover me for a two week period. So there's that. Then we have my dog, Hank. Um, he's good for dog food right now. I did just buy him some, which is why his uh, envelope's down a bit. Um, I'm just going to be adding 35 this pay period, which brings his envelope up to 55, 60, $70. Um, so at the end of my like week for I cash stuff again, I tend to leave whatever's left over in my dog's envelope just to cover any upcoming expenses for him. All right, so eating out, we'll be getting 50. And that's to cover me if I want to go to Starbucks or maybe I want to go grab a bite to eat with some friends in a restaurant. Household will be getting 10. And again, I like to kind of just carry over what I have in my household um, envelopes. So I'm currently at 80 in there. And that just covers like cleaning supplies or maybe I want to buy a new house plant. Um, yeah. Gas. Cast prices in BC right now are absolutely outrageous. I'm very fortunate that I have an economical car and my commute to work as well as groceries or dining is like seven minutes max. So $80 I'm hoping will last me here for two weeks. I don't do a lot of driving. I, I work a lot right now. So hopefully that, that does that. Um, so my fun envelope is empty. Um, that one I do like to carry over if there's a balance. But last um, last round I had my birthday. And so my mom and my sister and my little nephew, we all went up to Whistler for the day. So I spent what was in my fun envelope. So 15 is going in there. And then rent, um, we'll be getting half of the amount right now, which is 375. I'm fortunate I rent from family. Um, I rent a little one bedroom suite. So 375. I'm very fortunate right now that my expenses are so low because I have some debt that I'm working towards paying off right now. Um, so yeah, I should mention uh, with my paycheck, I do put each paycheck $425 towards my debt payoff. Um, and my paycheck this past period was $13.30 for two weeks. I do have other sources of income. Like I mentioned, I have my Etsy shop and I actually also have another small business. Um, so any revenue from those businesses right now, I don't share here. It is honestly just going straight towards my debt payoff. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then we have my uh, sinking funds binder here. So vacation right now, I'm putting $25 towards this pay period. And let's see where I'm at so far. I did start my cash stuffing journey on August 8th. So um, I haven't been doing it all that long, but let's see what we have saved so far. So I have 100 
20, 40, 60, 85. 185 for a couple months of saving is pretty good. Um, I have honestly been living paycheck to paycheck, so this is amazing for me to actually have money set aside for something. Um, gifts. Gifts I'm not adding any money to, and that's because um, everybody that has birthdays um, in my family, their birthdays are 10, they've already kind of happened. I don't have any more birthdays that I have to buy for this year. So I'm, I'm not putting anything in there. We're just gonna hold on to that. $60 should cover me if I, if I need to buy something for a gift. Um, clothes, we'll be getting 15. So again, I've only been saving, putting money in here since the beginning of August. So 70, 85, 95. And I think I might have actually spent a little bit of the money that I had set aside already. And I can't recall. So anyways, $95 so far saved up in there. Medical will only be getting 10. And this is just honestly to cover like Advil or Tylenol or Band-Aids. So $50. Beauty will be getting 10. So we got 65 in there. Costco is 20. Costco for me is a good like three plus hours away. I have to take a ferry to get there. Um, so I'm saving up right now for my next Costco run. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10. Oops. I like to go to Costco to buy things like paper towel, toilet paper. They're so outrageously priced where I live. Um, I also get like big bags of coffee from there. If you have any advice on things I should try at Costco, would love to hear. Christmas, we'll be getting, actually, I'm going to wait to cash stuff this one on my TikTok because I mentioned I'm going to be doing my savings challenges on there. Right now I have a savings challenge going for Christmas as well as a $10 and $5 savings challenge, a nickel savings challenge for all my change, which reminds me, I forgot to empty out my wallet. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have some change in there from this pat last pay. So I'll add to that before I do that. That'll be on TikTok. And then on TikTok, I also will be stuffing my 100 envelope challenge. Um, so yeah, I think that concludes today's YouTube video. This money that's left over here will be going towards my savings challenges. So made this quick and brief. If you made it this far, thanks for joining along. I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. And thanks guys, have a good day.